Hey guys, what's up? I'm Randall and I'm a married man. And marriage is great, but it's also difficult. There was a time about a week ago, I got back from a 20 hour trip and I was exhausted. All I was looking forward to was getting home. I got home around 1.20, about 1.36 in the morning. 20 hours of travel, I'm exhausted. You can imagine that the only thing that I wanna do is to crawl in the bed. So I get to my bedroom, my wife's asleep, my son is asleep in his room, and my wife is like, hey, what's up? I missed you. I'm like, I miss you too. Hey, you know, if Abner wakes up in the morning, would you mind putting him to sleep? And I was like, are you kidding me? Or you said, internally, I was like, I'm dying. Like, all I want to do is go to sleep. And you're telling me I'm probably gonna, you're, you're asking me to wake up in like two hours to, you know, put him to sleep or whatever. And that was really hard to say yes to. This was unfair, you know? Like, don't you know that I traveled for 20 hours? Don't you know that all I've been wanting to do is just to get the full night's rest? We can have interactions with others that make us feel like, yo, that's not fair. You shouldn't be treating me like that. You shouldn't be talking to me like that. I've been reading St. Therese's Story of the Soul recently. And if you don't know anything about St. Therese, look her up, because she's great. I remember a moment in the book where she had a sister that just annoyed her, that made witty remarks about her a lot, that said things to her that weren't always kind. And what was Therese's response? It was not mine, that's for sure. Therese's response was one of genuine, selfless love. She vowed and made a resolution within herself that whenever she'd see this, this sister of hers, she would just make the smallest act of love with everything that she could. And that looked like giving her the sweetest smile. And that would change everything. And the sister would ask her like, what are you seeing me? Like, you're so kind to me all the time. And Therese would say, I, I see Jesus in you. And that's the one I'm smiling at. That in moments where we might be demanded to give a little bit more where we don't feel like we're capable anymore. In moments where we might be asked to love in ways that we don't feel someone deserves, it can be really easy to close our hearts off. It can be really easy to be resentful, to demand or to take back what we feel is ours, to say, no, you don't deserve my kindness anymore. Now, I'm not here to invalidate anyone's pain. There are some of you here who might be caring a lot, who might have experienced some genuine unjust interactions in your life. All I'm saying is, is if there is resentment in our heart, if there is a lack of forgiveness, the result I actually want, which is peace and communion and harmony, don't really take place when I close my heart off. And yeah, maybe they don't deserve that. Maybe they don't deserve more of my time or more of my love or more of my kindness. Um, and that's okay. I think the invitation for us is to continue to choose to be genuine and patient and to give them our very best anyway. To give these people my very best when they've done damage to me. And I just wanna be very clear again, this is with prudence, this is when appropriate. You know, if you're not really sure, I'd talk to someone that you trust, like a spiritual director or a counselor about that. But in just those everyday moments, love is always going to be a great thing for us to be able to share with another person, regardless of what they've done to us. And it might take time, and that's okay. It might take a lot more effort than we expect, and that's okay. And we might not always meet the challenge, and that's okay. What's important is that we're striving every day to choose to give our very best to every single person, both friend and enemy. So I've been very inspired by that. I wanna invite you guys to join me on that journey to love those around us a lot better. Because when we do, Dude, our culture is gonna shift and we're gonna see huge change in our world. I really believe that. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.